And now, from Washington's leading news station, this is News 4 at 11. Tonight at 11, new details on a foiled terror plot in New York. The suspect wanted to shake up the presidential election. Two teenagers robbed at gunpoint. One of them shot, and police say it was all because of the shoes they were wearing. Also a News 4 exclusive, a bullet pierced through a family's home into the room on the sleeping toddler. Tonight we'll tell you how it got there and who's responsible. But first, breaking news out of Silver Spring after a five-car pileup on University Boulevard. Right now, police are looking for the driver who left the scene of the crash near East Wayne Avenue. A pedestrian was hit. She's listed in critical condition tonight. We're told a second person was hurt, but that person's condition is not as serious. Officers are searching for a newer model black pickup truck with possible damage to the front passenger side. New developments now in the foiled terror plot in New York City tonight. A 21-year-old man has been accused of trying to set off what he thought was a bomb outside the Federal Reserve Building just a few blocks from the World Trade Center. The FBI says the suspect came here to the U.S. from Bangladesh. He was on a student visa, and he originally wanted to attack the New York Stock Exchange. He ultimately wanted to disrupt, he said, the presidential election. Kurt Gregory has our report. Federal officials...